Hello, today I'm going to discuss to you animal cell. Beside me is the animal cell model I made and I'm going to teach you each part and their functions. So, let's start! The first part that I'm going to tackle is the cell membrane. Its function is to enclose and protect the cell organelles and also to regulate the molecules that pass in and out of the cell. Next is the cytoplasm. It is gel-like materials that contains all cell organelles enclosed within the cell membrane. Now, let's enter the nucleus. But first, what is nucleus? The primary role of the nucleus is to control and regulate cell activities and maintain cell metabolisms. The nucleolus is the largest structure in the nucleus of eukaryotic cell. It is best known as the site of ribosome biogenesis. Chromatin is a substance within a chromosome, consisting of DNA and protein. Other parts of the nucleus are the nuclear envelope, which surrounds the nucleus and encases the genetic materials. Also, the nuclear pores regulates the transportation of molecules between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. And lastly, the nuclear plasm, also known as chiroplasm. This fluid contains primarily water, dissolved ions, and complex mixture of molecules. We learned that the nucleolus produces ribosomes. So what are ribosomes? Ribosomes have two main functions, decoding the message and the formation of peptide bonds. Ribosomes can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum or ER and there are two types of ER The smooth ER which synthesizes lipids, phospholipids in plasma membranes and steroids and the rough ER which produces proteins for the rest of the cell to function and these proteins that ER produces will be transported by the vesicles Transporter vesicle help move these proteins to the Golgi apparatus for further sorting and refining. The Golgi apparatus appears as a series of stock membranes. Golgi apparatus helps process and package proteins and lipid molecules, especially proteins destined to be exported from the cell. Another part of the cell is the vacuoles. It isolates material that might be harmful or threat to the cell. Next is lysosomes, the garbage man of the cell. It takes in cell debris and waste and destroys it. The lysosome contains very powerful hydrolytic enzymes to accomplish this. Next are mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria are membrane-bound cell organelles that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in the small molecule called adenosine triphosphate or ATP. It is the cytoskeleton's role to maintain the structure of the cell. Cytoskeleton contains thread-like microfilaments made of protein and thin hollow tube called microtubules. Other parts of the cells are the centrioles and peroxisomes. The main function of centriole is to help with cell division in animal cells. Centrioles play a role in organizing microtubules that serves as a cell skeletal system. They help determine the location of the nucleus and other organelles in the cell. Lipid metabolism and chemical detoxification are important functions of peroxisomes. Peroxisomes are responsible for oxidation reactions that break down fatty acids and amino acids. And that's it! These are the parts of the cell and their function. This is Carl Angelo Mendoza. Bye!